Hi there, and welcome back to Eat the World. I'm Chef Alex Lazic. Now, I used to have big corporate jobs, and I even owned my own businesses. I had some restaurants and a brewery, but I gave that all up because it wasn't making me happy. And now what I do is I live in here in my motorhome, my beloved Fleetwood Bounder, and I travel around finding amazing ingredients and making videos for you guys. Well, today we are making our own bacon. And what can I say? There's nothing more badass in this world than making your own bacon. Now forget about the cheap mass-produced bacon. But what's wrong with regular cheap store-bought bacon? That comes from factory farmed pork. It's loaded full of preservatives and additives and artificial stuff. We're gonna forget about that and we're gonna do it with wholesome, good ingredients that we've got ourselves. Don't get me wrong, I love all kinds of bacon, but I do believe in ethically raised meat that's been treated with respect. So today is the real deal, the way it used to be done, good, wholesome food. The origins of bacon dates back thousands of years, all the way back to China where it was recorded that pork was preserved with salt. And that's generally how a lot of our traditional foods have evolved. Salting and curing meat is an ancient form of preserving food when they had no refrigeration. Now, some of you might be surprised that there's a few different kinds of bacon around the world. North Americans generally love the pork belly. Canada also has pea meal bacon, which we'll probably make a uh, video of later on. So that's just like the loin and it's cured and kind of coated in cornmeal. Australia, New Zealand and England generally stick to bacon rashers, which is also the loin. But they also have streaky bacon there, belly bacon as it's called as well but I love them all. Typically in England though, you'll get your bacon green. Green bacon. Which is unsmoked. But I know that's kind of a weird terminology and uh, it kind of freaked me out a bit when I was first there. But every country has their own versions of bacon. We won't even get into the European categories of bacon, but we will be making pancetta. Anyhow, today we're gonna to be making a maple hot smoked bacon. Now generally bacon is just cured and you can cold smoke it, but today we're gonna hot smoke it because that's the facilities I have. But that gives a fantastic result no matter what you're doing with the bacon. But if you'd rather have your bacon green and unsmoked, I'll be showing you how to do that as well. Very simple. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Now I've got a nice piece of pork belly here with a mix of solid meat and marbling from a small local supplier. I encourage you to try and get similar, but you get what you can and you get what you can afford. Next we're going to mix up our mixture of brown sugar, rock salt and curing salt. I season the pork belly with cracked black pepper first and then coat it with the curing mixture and throw in a few bay leaves. Once that's done, you can put in a deep tray or a Ziploc bag and place it in the fridge for about five days, flipping it every day. This will vary depending on the thickness of your piece of belly. You can check it to see if it's done by placing a slit in the meat, and if the middle looks like pink like bacon, you're good to go. Once it's ready, you can rinse it off well, and basically your green bacon is now done. Yes, it was that easy. If you've left it too long, your bacon might be a bit salty, so you can always check it at this stage by frying off a small piece and tasting it. If it's too salty, soak it in cold water for about an hour and that will fix that. Of course, we are going to smoke ours now, so once it's finished rinsing, it will go in the fridge on a rack to dry for a day or two. This is important to help the smoke flavor and color adhere to the pork. Once that step is complete, though... Well, here we go. Next day, we've left this overnight in the fridge to dry out a little bit. And it's looking pretty good to me. So I fired up the smoker and we're going to get that in there for about five hours. I'm going to smoke it with some maple wood chips. Here we go. I've just put the wood chips in there, so this is going to smoke now for about five hours. Good night, pork. And we'll make sure that we turn open the vents. We're good to go. Oh, look at that bacon. Look at it.
everybody. So the bacon is now done. And I guess there's only one verdict left to do. We're gonna try some. Um, so first of all, I think it's lovely marble, like you get in pork belly. But as you can see, it's a little bit darker than you would get in like commercial bacon. It's because it's actually got some real sugar in it. So it's absorbed some of that. So be careful when you cook it because it will darken a little bit more than you will get commercial bacon. So let's give it a try. It's nice and crispy. That is some beautiful bacon. It's just, it just tastes real. You know what I mean? It just tastes real. Why would you go out and buy store-bought stuff when you can do this stuff for yourself? I'm going to vac pack mine, put it in the fridge, put some in the freezer, give some away. Um, but that's bacon. That's real bacon. That's really good. Yum. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks again for watching my video. Please, please, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And remember, if you're having any culinary issues, what you can do is head over to my website, click on the chat function, and you'll come straight to me. And I can help you with any culinary issues that you have right there and then. Also, please, all I ask is that you subscribe to my channel. So please, like, subscribe, do all those things. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.